Okay, folks, Nathan from KBL Texas Homestead, and I'm coming to you today with a little experiment. So I built a grow light uh, earlier today, and um, I didn't shoot no video of it because I was just going off the top of my head trying to design something with what I had to uh, build a little grow light to do this experiment and see uh, how it works out. So I will be showing y'all that here in a minute, but I'm excited about that. Hopefully we'll have some good updates uh, after they grow to show you the progress on them and how well they did. Uh, but first I want to talk about what we're going to be planning today. Uh, you know, it's a very exciting time here on the homestead. Here yeah, We're almost in spring. Uh, we've got some good weather coming our way. We're going to be out in the garden some more. I've got some more stuff I need to plant. Um, we had a bunch of seeds that we started. If you watch those videos, we've got a bunch of seeds started. We've got some stuff out in the garden already, the uh, lettuce and kale. I do have some carrots that were we were experimenting with those as well. We started these carrots indoors in a milk jug, and uh, the wife put them out. And, uh, you know, late winter, she put them out in a pot and uh, in a container with, uh, matter of fact, with the cauliflower. And I have to give you an update on that because that cauliflower is starting to produce the fruit now and it's looking rather nice. Uh, but you know, that's all later on down the road. Just this here, today we are going to be doing the Roma tomatoes. And uh, the Roma tomatoes, like I said, it's just your regular store-bought Roma tomatoes. We got these seeds gifted to us. So we're going to be putting some of these underneath the grow light. We've got another variety called a 4th of July hybrid tomato. And uh, we're going to give these a shot. Never had these before, so we're going to see what they're like. And then we've got an early treat hybrid tomato that we're going to put in these uh, grow lights as well. And then I have a... Rutgers tomato. Uh, this is a heirloom seed that we picked up from Burpee and I'm excited about these. Uh, we started some probably three weeks ago but uh, we didn't tend to them properly and not a whole lot of them made it. So I'm excited to get these in and then be able to pull seeds from these and use them uh, later on down the road. You know the good thing about seeds and especially the heirloom seeds is you plant these fruits if they take, if you take the seed from the fruit or if you let them go to seed, when they flower, the ones that flower and you take the seeds, you know, you will always have seed. If you take care and you harvest your seeds and take care of them properly and store them properly, uh, you'll, you'll never have to buy seeds again. All right, folks, first thing we're gonna do here, I've got my seed starting mix. Uh, this is a mix that I make, but any seed starting mix, will do uh, if you want to purchase some from the store. Make sure it's a uh, seed starting mix though. You don't want to use just regular soil from out in the yard. Uh, make sure it's a seed starting mix. That is the best way to get these seeds to germinate and to grow and, and um, to be able to come apart. If you're going to multi sow like I am here, uh, you know, regular soil is just going to get hard and clumped up around the roots and you'll have a lot of root damage when you're trying to separate them. But if you use the seed starting mix, it's a lot, uh, you know, it's a soilless mix. Uh, it's a lot softer, a lot airier, and it just, it'll just come apart when you start separating them seeds. Um, so use a seed starting mix. First off, I'm gonna take the mix and I'm gonna water it. I wanna get it nice and moist before it goes into the tray that I'm gonna be putting it in. And I'm just using a spray bottle. I'm gonna wet this up pretty good and then we'll transfer it over and I'll soak it some more after I transfer it. Okay, that's about to the consistency and moisture that I like. Now we're going to fill this tray up with some of this nice, damp, moist starting mix.
gonna fill this up. Get it nice and nice and filled. Uh, a quick spray because it was a little it was a little dry that was some of it that I didn't mix I got into some of that that I hadn't sprayed so I'm going to go ahead and spray this down real good get some of that moisture in there What I'm doing here is just running off all the excess, actually a little more than I should. I'm just trying to get it flat there. I'm going to end up pressing these down so it's going to make some more room, but try to keep this as clean as possible being I'm inside today. Uh oh, and what I'm going to do is just take this potting mix and press it down, see how much fluff that has. It's it's going way down. I'm just lightly, firmly pressing it. I want to get all those gaps filled because we don't want no air pockets in our seeds. And again, it's just a light but firm pack. You don't want to overdo it but you do wanna get it down in there, fill up all the gaps, no holes. This stuff is very light and airy, the seed mix, so you'll, it'll have room to, to breathe. quite a bit. A good spray. Again, the key to this is just moist, moist, moist. Having moist soil for these seeds to start germinating, and then you won't 
you get it nice and moist, you won't have to worry about watering it while they're sprouting. Get that seed sprouted, get some true leaves on it, and then you can start watering it. So we have those, and again, just key to, to uh, make sure you can see your partition somewhat so you know about where you're gonna plant your, you're gonna drop your seeds in. So we got that. I'm liking that already. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just make some divots. I'm just gonna make some divots here from each one, just a little divot for our seeds to go. Roughly in the center of each cell. And I'm just using a mechanical pencil, nothing fancy. Just something to get a little divot in there. So I'm going to pre-do all that. Set that aside. I'm going to put my tag in here. Um, and then I'm going to plant this row. That way I know this row is specific to this potato or this tomato plant. So I'm just going to try to sprinkle two or three seeds out into each individual individual hole here there's two there's two there's two and there's two that's gonna be the Rutgers tomato now I'm gonna do the same with each one of these. The next one I'm gonna do is the Roma tomato. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that tag in there. That'll be my Roma. And I've got those tags with the variety that it is and then dated for the day I'm seeding them. So let's do these. Okay, next we're going to go to the tomato 4th of July hybrid. Going to start that. So fill those up. Again, it's just roughly two to three seeds to each hole, and this one here is the uh, early treat hybrid. I'm gonna put that tag in there so I know that row is strictly these tomatoes. I'm gonna fill these up. Okay, and that'll complete. And that, we'll set these to the side. Now once you got the seeds in there, hopefully you can, uh, you can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see with the light, but you can see right here in this one, there's two seeds in each hole. So then what I like to do is just take some more dirt. I'm gonna take some more dirt and just sprinkle it over each each hole and the seeds covering them up watching for any big chunks again this is a homemade uh, seed starter it's not as fine as as most Okay, and then I'm 
just gonna lightly, lightly pack them over. Gather up any excess. And then I'm gonna spray them down again. We have 16 cells, four of each. I've got four different types of tomatoes in each row. I've got two to three in each cell. So, you know, that's gonna give me roughly 32, probably upwards around 48 uh, tomato plants, just in this eight inch by eight inch square here. You know, and this is just a quick way to uh, start and germinate a bunch of seeds. See that I'm doing? Okay, folks, and there we have it, our grow light assembly, and just a regular old light bulb on some seeds that we started. We're going to see if they germinate. There's the type of tomatoes we put in here four varieties we'll see what happens all right folks well that's the end of our grow light video um thank you for watching thank you for spending the time to watch it uh, again i'm gonna have this probably separated a couple videos but um this is the grow light we've got our tomatoes planted i'm gonna plug it up Leave it here in the side of, uh, inside of the house in the sunroom. Uh, let it germinate. Once we start getting some germination, I'll shoot some video of that. <clears throat> Once the plants start growing, we'll shoot some video of that and see how good they do. You know, hopefully it turns out good. If it does, um, this is all in preparation for next season, uh, being able to plant seeds indoors using what I have and not having to go out and buy a bunch of stuff. So. Uh, again, Nathan with KBL Texas Homestead. Thanks for watching and till next time.